Hello YouTubers, hello Conan Exile players. Well, I'm back on the original Conan. I'm on uh, this map. I'm not on Isle of Sipta, but I went and realized that when I got the Isle of Sipta stuff, apparently, where is it here? Okay, so I have Flotsam and Stormglass, which I didn't have before. And I want to take a look at these pieces. So I'm going to do a little build. Uh, and I think I'm going to do a build on this environment, on this map. And I'm going to use both those pieces. I'm going to build something cool. So what were we going to do? We we're going to go build something. So the one set, let's see here. Unless we want to be in the rain. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. So this map is a lot different than the other one. Because I have this particular bridge here. But I haven't actually done anything with the road here. Which I wanted to put a road here. Uh, because I did that in the last map. But maybe I should do something cool. You know? I've been getting inspired. I've seen some pretty cool videos lately. And these guys are doing some crazy things. So let's see if I can do something that's even half as cool as their, what they do. So I've got kind of this deck area here, which then heads up here then goes over to here. And then I need to go and fix this because that doesn't work. But you get the idea. So the path is here. So you can see I just used pillars. Nothing too crazy. Went all the way around that. I figure I can use it as a feature of some kind. So now I'm going to go up and over here. I'm going to try to level the ground off left to right and then make a platform and an elevator going up you know it's a bit tight but it's not bad you know what I mean Did it end up lining up? Not bad, right? There we go. So, yeah. Not quite the way I wanted it, but it's good enough. Okay, and then we'll do some ramps down. Railing. Yeah, so I'm thinking something like that. And then I guess we'll take this out. And we'll go. We'll take this out all the way down. And we'll put another one there. Oh shoot, that was the railing. Okay, so it's right there. That's the spot. That's it. Here's the great door. Yes, right there. Ooh, I snapped it. Okay, and then let's take a look at the door. Cool. All right, walls. So I got these crazy walls. Does that have a hole in it? Oh, it does. It's a window. Okay. 
All right, this is where that goes. But as you can see, I'm trying to go and make this. Uh, for whatever reason, I can't get this to go. So I'm going to have to mess with this wall to make that work. As far as up here, uh, I guess they have these rooftop ends. Kind of like that. Looks pretty cool. And, oh, what is that? An awning corner? So many neat pieces. There's the one with the beam sticking out of it. It was one of these two, right? Intersection cap. It's this one. That one's just a cap. All right, see if we can get the, oh, we can finally go in. All right. Now, if only I could get that one to go in. Doesn't like it. Put that on there, that'll cap it off. In fact, I should probably do the same here. Uh, no. So this one here, this is just a massive wall. This side has character. This side, massive wall. This side, character. So yeah, I gotta do something with these. I can't just leave them a massive wall. Alright, so now I'm thinking, what if I was to do something like this all right youtubers i ended up finishing it i know i kind of rushed through it but you can see here you just kind of have a walkway and this is the entrance so you can see off to the right here we have like uh, a nice little balcony carry on through and we can get up and over to here but if you are over here you can also jump up on this rock climb up over here and then you have the upper balcony go back through here I put a little railing right there on the top of that door and then you can see here there's an opening to jump down from here because if you go out this way we have an elevator, horizontal elevator. So we've got the horizontal elevator, which then takes you over to here. You can see I have this kind of platform here, but you can see it's all roof right up through here. Oh, there's the hole. So if you go up here, you have this roofed in area. We come over here and we jump on the elevator. We can jump down here, over to here, up here, and then we have another elevator. And this elevator takes us up here. So it joins all these areas, right? So we have this area up here that when you come in from the city, the unnamed city, you can then come in right here. Looking down at everything, there's the base over there. There's the building I just built. I did use like these posts right here and this little roof right here. 
which is a neat feature. Okay, so now we're on to the next material. Alright, YouTubers, well, we're on to the next one. And it's a beautiful day here in the exiled lands. And the location that I've chosen is this waterfall. So let's start building. So the one thing that I want to do when it comes to the waterfall is I want to go and so I want to lower it but I want to just put it just under the water then I want to put one on top so the one on top will will hold right and then I'm just gonna run it to the side here and I'm gonna delete all this and the reason I did that well, you'll see in a bit. So you come out here, right? And then I want to be able to go lower. Yeah, so there's one there. So I want to go low. And the reason is, so as I build this out, You'll kind of see that there's a, a spot here. Right about there, I think. Yeah, that's perfect. So what I want to do is I want to make the arch right here. All right, so I'm starting this build by putting these doors in. And the reason I'm doing that is because I, I feel like I need to have an excuse for the water to flow through, right? So this is like a vent. So it allows the water to go through. And then I built this wall here because this entrance goes up through here. And of course I have this up top here so it's all kind of close together so now that I have the vent I want to build a wall okay I want to show you where I'm at before it gets too dark so you can see here that you have the the doors that you come in and then you have like the ramp to go up to the sides here left or right this one has the exit to go that way um, and then there's an elevator right here it's straight up we've got an elevator right here so this is the beginning of the base basically so it gives you the, like the paths right I'm trying to define the paths all right so I started making this structure here so I have like a, a walkout here. And it has three archer spots. But then there's this. So this is basically this. But then in this kind of uh, shape. Which is pretty cool, right? So I'm going to take these out. I'm going to grab that one drop that in there and then it's also the top one here and then we'll pick the this one here keeps wanting to click there okay now if I could just get them to attach but I don't think that's going to be that easy. We'll see. All right. So to try to get it to go up there, I went and I delete this. You can see how far up it goes. It goes all the way to the top. So I do need to have some sort of support there. Cool. So I don't have the pillar refloating like for example how am I supposed to attach this wall to that 
right? Like that, maybe? And that's supposed to be the door. So yeah, that's a cool looking door if you... Yeah, that's pretty cool. And I come walking down here into this area. All right, let's build a wall. Yeah, it's got this cool corner piece, this top one. You can see it right there, the, that one in the top corner. And then the lighting, if you look here. Isn't that cool? Pew, 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 yeah. It's pretty neat. All right, so I built this room here. You come in and you go off to this side and then you can see it's got a skylight. And then you can walk over here and look over the water. So a few things. Uh, this top bit right here, it's nice and quiet up there. It's good. I ended up just using steps. And then this is the end piece, the glass windows in order to create that. And then in order to get this gap here, you're able to put the wall on the back. In fact, I might be able to the door frame. And it gives a little bit more space. Yeah, it's not perfect, but it works. Yeah, that's the uh, the glass top there. So now I'm doing this room. So I'm going to basically take this concept and move it over to this side to finish this room. Okay, so now we have the upper elevator area and then you have the two rooms over here. So we'll take a look in this room here and go out the door here onto the palisade. So this is the palisade. And then you go in here and you've got like uh, the roof. So one of the things I ran into was the roof wasn't uh, connecting very good. So I had to put these steps in and that seemed to fix my issue. Uh, so just to point that out. And then same with here. I'm going to build this bit right here. So to build this. You take these pieces here and that one, that one, that one. Okay, and then this one, you can push that up. See that? Uh, this one here, the fence foundation. And actually, I like it better with the bar on the inside. So as far as stairs go, I don't know. I'm I'm happy with these ones, to be honest. I know you can like run into. See, yeah, you can't even run into those pillars. They're just visual. So yeah, it's good. All right, well, let's do a quick tour then. So we come over here, we take the elevator down. The elevator drops us right in the middle of the base. And we 
this platform. You can kind of see this is the main opening. There's the elevator coming down. Got this spot to shoot if I need to. You know, could have a few thralls through a few benches. So this lower section here, then you can get down into the water. See, you're down in this area. I made sure that it looks like the water can get through, right? And we have this side, which has the walkway over there. And yeah, and then I can run up here, up here, up here. So this is the main exit. These are the two rooms, along with the walk on the palisade. Take a look at this room, which has the opening to look out here as well. Nice big room. And we walk out. And we have the front kind of porch area or flat area. So that's it. There we go. That's it. That's the base. That's a pretty cool set, I'm going to admit. I like the uh, the glass. The way it goes up into the top. Or just merging the other sets together like with this set. I don't know. I think they're pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with them to be honest. So. There we go. Made ourselves some new fortresses. All right, well, YouTubers, thanks for liking and subscribing. Glad you could check out these two building sets, the ones that you get with the Isle of Sipta. And come back for more Conan action.